Okay, Steve here in the New York store again. I'm gonna do a little video here that's gonna combine two different drums. Both of them seven by 13s. This one being a walnut with a baseball bat top and a 45 bottom. And the other being a cherry with a 45 top and a 45 bottom. The seven by 13 is a great size. It's always been Steve Jordan's favorite size. And it's a neat drum because it's got a lot of body, but a little bit higher pitch because it's a 13. On this particular drum with the baseball bat edge, you're gonna get a lot more fat out of the top head less overtones, but with the 45 on the bottom, it's gonna give you more resonance and sensitivity. So out at the edges, it'll still sound sensitive, but it'll give you a lot of fatness, great backbeat with the depth, and a little bit higher pitch because of the 13. So a drum like this, here's the edges. Sensitivity. And by the way, here's where the tuning is on this drum. So that's kind of in a, I'll call it a medium tuning. I usually tune higher than that, but that's in the medium range. Now here's the center. That rim shot, fat. The cross stick is fat. You know, combination of the depth of the shell, the walnut, which is a little bit warmer than the, the, the cherry, and of course the baseball bat top edge. So you get a lot of fat coming out of this. versatility here. We're going to take this up higher just for fun. And by the way, there's a sound file on this very drum up on the website so you can hear it there in even more detail. But we're just going to play around with some different things here. We're going to take it and crank it up. And as we crank it up, let's see where we're at tuning wise now. Quite a bit higher, okay? Make it a little sloppier. So by loosening up the snares, then you can of course dry it up even more. But you still got the sensitivity there. So again, with a drum like this, you've got a lot of versatility. You've got a combination of the little added warmth coming out of the maha of the uh, walnut, rather, and you've got the Baseball bat top edge, which takes the overtones up, fattens up the sound. We get the 45 on the bottom to give you enough focus. You don't lose anything in the translation. Wide tuning range, fabulous drum. That's available on the website. Now, we're going to switch over and go to Cherry. This is also a 7x13, Cherry. But this one's 45, 45 edges. Tuning range on this one, right about where we started with the other. With the 45 degree edges, top and bottom, it's gonna be a little bit more in the way of overtones, a little more sensitivity at the edge, and the Cherry's gonna be a little bit brighter sound than the Walnut will be. So out at the edge, That's great. Cross stick is still fat. We can uh, loosen it up, sloppy it up a little bit. Dry it up some. You need it that 
Karate, you got it. Now, tuning range-wise, again, we'll take it up. Do a good crank here, bring it up to a tighter range like we did on the walnut. You can sense when you listen to this, there's a little more brightness because of the quality of the wood. It's going to be a little bit brighter. And the 45 edge is going to brighten it up some. So let's see where we're at now. That's up there. because of the sharper bearing edge, but it'll cut great. You can tune it down if you need to, tune it up if you need to. The seven inch depth gives it extra body, and the fact that it's cherry is gonna make it a little bit brighter, a little bit more edge to it. Again, this one's up on the website as well, www.maxwelldrums.com. That's the seven by 13 Craviato story for today. All right, cool. <laughs>